Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special investing report brought to you in association with ASB. Today we're going to have a look at all these corporate bond issues and whether they're offering enough to compensate for the risk. Over the last six months, investors, both mums and dads and institutions, have put more than $2.6 billion into these corporate bonds offered by the likes of the Auckland City Council, the Auckland Airport, Wellington Airport, Fletcher Building and others. And they've issued them at rates offering between 6 and 9% for a five-year bond. Now this seems quite high when you compare it with the 4 to 5% that you can get from a two-year bond, let's say, in a bank or a two-year term deposit. But is it really enough for bonds that aren't government guaranteed and which can be affected by what's happening in the economy and with the companies themselves. And they have a variety of credit ratings. So let's look at what these types of bonds trade at overseas and whether or not we're being done over with the very cheap prices here. Let's look at Australia, where investment grade, and that means triple B minus or better, investment grade corporate debt is currently trading at around about 430 basis points, so 4.3% above the so-called risk-free rate, which is counted as the swaps rate in Australia. In America, companies like GE Capital and Berkshire Hathaway, they're currently rated AAA, the safest type of debt. In fact, that's even safer than New Zealand's corporate bond, uh, sovereign bond rating. But the credit default swaps on that debt is trading at around about 500 basis points, 5% above the safest rate. In Europe, uh, sub-investment grade debt, so what's, what's called junk bonds, less than triple B minus, that's trading at 11% over the safest rate. So when you look at New Zealand five-year swaps rate, this, the, in theory the safest rate or the base, that's currently at around about 4.2%. When you add it on the 4.3% that the Australians are getting, you should be getting something north of 8.5%. But if you look at the bond issues that would have been done over the last six months or so, only Tower on 8.5% and Fletcher building on 9% have offered more than that. The rest were quite a bit cheaper. Auckland City at 6%, Auckland Airport at 7.25%, Wellington Airport at 7.5% and Contact Energy at 8%. Those rates looked too cheap. And you've got to remember too that over the next five years most people think inflation will rise and that we're going to see an awful lot of government bonds issued to deal with these fiscal deficits. So, I'm saying investors in corporate bonds should demand more, a higher rate of return than they're currently getting because of the risks that are coming over the next five years from high inflation and from increased government bond issuance. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special investing report brought to you in association with ASB.